Once upon a time in a beautiful garden there lived a proud rose she was the most beautiful flower in the garden with her velvety red petals and sweet fragrance the rose was so proud of her beauty that she would often look down on the other flowers calling them plain and ordinary one day a new plant arrived in the garden it was a cactus with a prickly thorns and a prickly personality the rose was immediately disgusted by the cactus she had never seen such a ugly plant before well 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 the rose sneered what have we here a cactus in my garden how dare you you are the ugliest plant i have ever seen the cactus ignored the rose insult he was content to simply sit in the sun and soak up the rays don't you hear me the rose demanded i'm talking to you you ugly cactus the cactus sighed i know you are talking to me he said but i'm not interested in talking to you you are a rude and arrogant flower the rose was furious she had never been insulted like that before she stormed off determined to make the cactus's life miserable every day the rose would taunt the cactus calling him names and making fun of his appearance the cactus would simply ignore her he knew that the rose was proud of her beauty one summer there was a drought the other flowers in the garden began to wilt and die the cactus however was able to survive thanks to his thick skin and deep roots the rose was not so lucky she began to wither and fade she realized that she needed cactus's help if she want to survive please cactus the rose begged i need your help i am dying the cactus looked down at the rose i knew this day would come he said you have been so rude and arrogant to me but i am not that a vengeful cactus i will help you the cactus used his thorns to dig a deep hole in the ground he then reached down and pulled up a handful of water from his roots he gently poured the water over the rose's petals the rose was so grateful for the cactus's help she realized that she had been so wrong to judge the cactus by his appearance she apologized to him for her behavior the cactus forgave the rose he knew that she had learned her lesson the two flowers became friends they lived happily ever after in the garden so the moral of the story is never judge a book by its cover